up guys, Scuba Max here. So if you come to the Florida Keys, there's lots of great boat dives. However, there's not many shore dives because the Florida Keys are very shallow. But if you are in the Big Pine Key area, there's a nice beach called the Horseshoe Beach. Um, there's a nice quarry here so you can dive down to about 30 feet. We saw lots of cool creatures snorkeling and diving here. So it's really fun for the whole family if you wanna come snorkel here and spend the day. So check out all the cool things that we saw. Horseshoe Beach is such a beautiful swimming hole, however, there's no lifeguard on duty, so swim at your own risk. At low tide, there's lots of space on shore to relax and have a picnic before or after you snorkel. The giant hermit crab, as its name suggests, is the largest hermit crab in the Caribbean. They can reach up to 20 centimeters long, or 8 inches for our American friends out here. This spotted cleaner shrimp was quite the treat to see. It was so beautiful, but it was hard to film with the water moving back and forth. Upside down jellies rest on shallow bottoms with their arms up in order to provide enough sun to their symbiotic algae, which they then use as a lipid source. There were tons of schools of fish right near the surface, visible by simply snorkeling. Bearded fireworms look cool, but don't touch because they can leave a painful stain that can last a few hours. I found this really cool chain moray under a rock near where my dad was fishing. And I just couldn't help myself. I gave him the rest of my dad's bait. Sorry, dad. Hope you enjoy that snack, little buddy. Mangroves are really important for preventing erosion and protecting our shores from the impacts of hurricanes, but they also provide really important nursery habitats for juvenile fish, protecting them from predators. Oh my god, queen conch eyeballs are so cute. Apparently squid are pretty rare to see in Florida, so it was pretty exciting to see this little one. I eventually checked out another mangrove and ended up face to face with a nurse shark. I think we both scared the crap out of each other. <laughs> Sadly, all I got on camera was its tail as it swam away. Man, I couldn't believe how many kongs there were.
I really enjoyed checking out the mangroves. Clearly the fish feel really safe under there. Here I decided to free dive to see this massive school of grunts. I was pretty surprised to see this channel clinging crab in such shallow waters given that it's one of the largest species of crabs in Florida. They can reach up to 18 centimeters or 7 inches. While I was filming him, I saw something move really quickly in the corner of my eye. I waited patiently and then I realized I was a mantis shrimp! I've learned so much about mantis shrimp in school, so it was incredible to finally see one in the wild. Mom tried really hard to catch us a lobster for dinner, but they were too fast and too small. So, guess we're ordering pizza for dinner. At first, we thought these two conks were doing the hanky panky, but eventually we realized that they were two different species. So the horse conk on the right was actually trying to eat the queen conk on the left. After spending lots of time in the shallows, we decided to put on our scuba gear and descend into the quarry. The bottom was pretty silty and barren of life, so we decided to dive along the edges of the quarry. I've never seen these rough fire clams so far, but they were just everywhere in the quarry. There was also lots of arrow crabs, which were really fun to watch. And of course, tons of lobsters. This line of flatworm was really neat. It looked like a tiger. Connie decided to say hello to her little lobster friend. It was really cool to see so many species of shrimp at this site. I got really excited about seeing a second squid, but this one was much smaller than the first one, so I wanted to use my macro lens. But unfortunately, I ended up scaring him away and he decided to ink me. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. These puffers really made me laugh. It's like they were up to no good and I caught them in the act. Like, what were they doing? <laughs> At this point, we were running low on air, so it was time to surface. Thanks for a good dive, Connie. Apparently there's an ambulance down there, but we did not find it, so. Who knows? <laughs> um, you're doing a good job. <laughs> okay, final review. What do you think of Horseshoe Beach? I loved it. And it's free. And it's free. And it's free. And Dad, you like the fishing? Nah, no fish. <laughs> and no tipping. No tipping. Okay. Okay, yeah, very nice. Okay. Adios.